Hey there, quirky people. I'm your host, Anna, and today we'll be revisiting the abilities of Shazam. With Shazam Fury of the Gods playing in theaters, many people are left asking about how his powers work. One might have thought that the six Greek gods he gets his powers from actually granted those abilities willingly. But Shazam 2 revealed that that wasn't the case. The wizard Shazam actually took the powers of those gods away and locked them up in the god realm. And that's why the daughters of Atlas were unhappy. Hence, Fury of the Gods. In the first film, we all saw Billy Batson being blessed with... The wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. But then, Shazam shared his powers with his entire family of foster kids. Initially in the first film, it seemed that he shared one aspect of his abilities with others. Freddy got flight. Darla got super speed. Eugene got lightning powers. Pedro got super strength. And Mary got a bit of everything. But Fury of the Gods showed that every family member got every ability. They could all fly, had super speed along with all the other abilities of Shazam. But still, one power in particular that people were left confused about is the wisdom of Solomon. How come Shazam is said to have the wisdom of a Greek god, but is even goofier than his younger self, Billy Batson? Well, this question does get answered in Fury of the Gods, and we're going to explain it by clarifying how all of Shazam's powers work. But before that, it'd be super nice if you guys would hit those like and subscribe buttons to support our channel. Having said that, let's move on to the Wisdom of Solomon. As it is known, the initials of six gods form the name Shazam, and the first S comes from the god called Solomon. In many versions of Shazam, including the comics in the Justice League Unlimited series, the wisdom of Solomon plays out very differently than it does in the DCEU. In those iterations, Shazam acts like a very mature and wise adult after transformation. He has the answers to most problems. But in the DCEU, the wisdom he gets from Solomon is different. We see the Shazam family make fun of Billy for seeking Mary's advice on every matter because he doesn't really have a high intellect. But the wizard reveals that Billy has wisdom in his heart. In the heat of the moment, he always makes the right choice no matter what. Ready to go round up your buddies? His choices do have dire repercussions, but he knows what is the right thing to do. And that wisdom comes from the traumatic experiences he had in his life. For instance, he knew that he had to split his powers and create new Shazam champions to fight the seven deadly sins and stop Dr. Savannah. I'm issuing a spoiler warning as I'll talk about what happened in Fury of the Gods from here on. So if you don't want the movie to be spoiled, then just skip to the second power at this timestamp. Okay, so in Shazam 2 when both Mary and the Golden Apple were falling from the sky, Billy knew that saving Mary was the right choice, even though it risked Calypso getting her hands on the apple. Then he revived Hespera and showed her that the human world still deserved to live. He asked for her help in contracting the dome in Calypso. And he came up with the plan to supercharge the wizard's staff by sacrificing himself to kill Calypso in that dome. That's how the wisdom of Solomon works in the DCEU. Now moving on to the second ability, Billy gets the strength of Hercules. The age in Shazam comes from the demigod Hercules. Most of us are aware of how strong Hercules is. After all, he is called the god of strength. So explaining Shazam's strength is pretty simple. He is super strong like Wonder Woman, but in the DCEU, the level of his strength hasn't been tested truly. He has fought Dr. Savannah and even held his own against Hespera. He knocked out a freaking dragon into a building. But it would have been nice to see him go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the likes of Superman or Black Adam. These two characters have been portrayed to be insanely strong. But I bet with the strength of Hercules, Shazam can totally hold his own against them too. Next up, he has the Stamina of Atlas. The first A in Shazam comes from Atlas, the father of Hespera, Calypso, and Anthea. Thanks to him, Shazam gets the stamina to fight long-drawn battles without breaking a sweat. The likes of Barry Allen need to fuel themselves up with food to run for longer periods. But Shazam doesn't need a source of energy. He already has an unending stamina, which also makes him truly durable against heavy attacks. He can always get back up after getting knocked down. And his stamina is what allowed him to share his abilities with his family without becoming weaker. Up next he has the power of Zeus. The Z in Shazam comes from the ruler of Greek gods, Zeus. Shazam gets his lightning abilities from Zeus. Without these powers, he might have come across as another Superman counterpart, but the lightning ability is what makes him different. This is his most special power, and it is also signified by the lightning bolt on his chest. 
In the DCEU, Wonder Woman is the daughter of Zeus, so Shazam is sort of linked to her as he gets a part of his power from Zeus. In fact, Fury of the Gods also made fun of that as Shazam actually hit on Wonder Woman saying that he isn't related to her by blood. Now moving on to the next power, Billy gets the Courage of Achilles. The second A in Shazam comes from Achilles. People might be confused as they saw Shazam literally running away from Dr. Savannah. But in the DCEU, the courage of Achilles works similar to the wisdom of Solomon. Billy has a very strong heart. After being abandoned by his parents, he has become really hardened in life. And that's where his true courage comes from. He was afraid of Savannah at first, but he still fought him and finished the mission. And he willingly sacrificed himself to take down Calypso. So, he truly is one of the most courageous heroes in the DCEU. Now moving on to his special power, he has the speed of Mercury. The M in Shazam comes from the Greek god Mercury. Thanks to him, Shazam can run and fly extremely fast. He can also process everything much faster. But he did make it clear that Barry Allen is faster than him in the DCEU. However, super speed is still a really cool ability to have. And that rounds up all of his abilities. Although, the source of his power is different from Black Adam. While Shazam gets his powers from Greek gods, Teth Adam got them from Egyptian gods. His stamina comes from Shu, speed from Horus, strength from Amon, wisdom from Zahudi, power from Atan, and courage from Mayhem. That's how Black Adam and Shazam are different. Okay, that's all. Once again, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.